how do CPG or consumer goods or FMCG companies forecast volume for a new product? There are many factors to consider before being able to forecast volume for a new product with reasonable accuracy. And even then, many experienced marketers get it wrong as the variables are many and some of them are simply unknown. The factors to consider are 1. Product features and quality versus competition. 2. Brand strength if it is a new product from an established brand. 3. Advertising investment to generate awareness and educate consumers on the features of the new product. 4. Price and promotional strategy versus competition. 5. Product test scores versus competitive products based on formal research. 6. Retail or distribution capability or customer buy-in of your products. 7. Timing of launch if product is seasonal. And any other factors which are unique and category specific. And there can be many. Most organizations take any one or more of these four approaches to work out volume for a new product over a specific time frame. Let's say one year. The first approach is market share based. This is a holistic marketing approach. Brand managers take all the product and marketing features of the new product, its advertising, pricing, etc. and compare it versus competition and estimate a potential market share. This requires experience and analysis of historical data. Second is retail store based. This is a sales based approach where they estimate number of stores distributed, the initial sell in units, the potential unit sales per store per week to arrive at a volume. Third is the advertising awareness based. This is a pure above the line based approach which makes assumptions on how many consumers will be made aware of the product. Of that, how many will try the product which is called trial and this percentage is based on research of previous similar new products and how many will come back and buy again which is called retention. The fourth one is price variation based. This is a trade marketing approach and assumes a certain distribution over which volume per week at everyday shelf price is estimated and volume per week for promotional price is estimated. Then based on trade marketing investments, the number of weeks on promotion is planned for the first year to arrive at a full year volume. FMCG Academy's recommendation is to use all four approaches and marry them together to see what is believable and possible. It can be a bit of a hit and trial the first few times, but with experience you will get it right. For example, you might come up with the following numbers. Market share based may come up with $10 million of sales. Retail store based may deliver $6 million of sales. Advertising awareness based may deliver $12 million in sales, while price variation based may deliver $8 million in sales. The truth normally is somewhere within these numbers. With experience, one will learn which method works best for their categories and brand. Good luck. If you do want to learn how to price a new consumer product, an FMCG product, then do consider taking our e-learning course on Udemy. The discount link is in the video description.